After almost two weeks of intense theoretical and practical training sessions, 16 healthcare providers, including 14 Grenadian nurses, a medical doctor, a community health nurse from the Commonwealth of Dominica, obtained certification as specialized diabetic foot care providers in Grenada. We have details from Kevil Frederick. The training which was organized by the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Religious Affairs Community Nursing Department in collaboration with the Pan American Health Organization and the World Walk Foundation Jamaican chapter was aimed at reducing the incidence of limb amputations as a result of gangrene or poor foot care, a complication of diabetes. Addressing the participants at the closing and award ceremony, Health Minister Senator Jonathan Lacrette commended the participants and thanked the facilitators as well as PAHO for the initiative. However, Lacrette told the participants, You are the champions. Because I don't know anybody else who wants to hold somebody's foot <laughs> <laughs> and to care for it so passionately and with such compassion, whether it's whether it is whether the foot has an odor or not, you have to face that. And you have seen the need to take up the cause in this health care management or foot care management training so that our young, as well as our middle aged, as well as our elderly can be facilitated in such a way that they know that they are valued and that they know that they are well taken care of. The health minister, who said he had a first-hand experience and saw the brutal effects of chronic disease on a person, shared a personal story with those in attendance. I am passionate about this particular and specific type of training, and I am extremely elated that it has occurred, even with our Caribbean counterparts and neighbors, God bless you, from Dominica, <laughs> simply because my dad died from hypertension and diabetes. And I saw a big, strong man dry up like a prune on the bed because he got a cut, did not say anything to anybody, and continued bathing. Water continued to get into the foot. And as a result of that, started limping after a few days. Then we recognized the limp. And then we asked that what's going on. We recognized that the foot started to get infected. So it was a sight to see how you can look at your life dwindle right before your very eyes if you do not get preventative care that can assist you in curbing the problem before it gets to a worse stage. So I am glad that you have taken up the challenge to ensure that all ages with their problems with foot care receive the necessary care that they so desire, so that in the preventative stage, they can definitely keep their foot at the end of the day. Meanwhile, Permanent Secretary Mrs. Naomi Jeremiah, who has responsibility for strategic and operational management of the hospitals and community health services, called on the participants to go out in their respective communities and put into practice what they have learned. I hope that the persons who are trained here today will go back to the community, the homes, the senior persons, the elderly, who have, who feel that all is lost and there's no one to take care of that room, that you could go and reach them in what, where is Upper Hill, you know, Grenada's Hill and Valleys, go to that patient, go to that person who needs the care and offer them the care that they need to save that leg, that wound that needs healing. And believe you me, with love and care to that wound, the healing will come. So we just have to be persistent. Don't give up. Nurses that are here today, do not give up on those patients. Put your best feet forward and try to care that wound as much. You got the training from, from Mr. Owen here today. You got all the facilitators from Ms. Delia, and they give you everything. You are empowered. So now that you are empowered, you need to go and empower others, the other nurses in the, in the health center, the community services, who are not here today, you need to go and give them the skill. The training wrapped up with remarks from PAHO's country program specialist, Mrs. Fiona Anthony, and lead facilitator, Mr. Owen Bernard, who reminded the participants to be compassionate in their delivery of care. 
All of the participants told the GIS that they were more than happy to be part of the training which they show can result in limb preservation if properly put into practice. I am Kevin Frederick reporting.